Okay, so I'm just going to pick a random idiom here. This is from the website Bamboozle, where they have lots of great quizzes for learning English vocabulary and English idioms. I'm going to pick one randomly, and then go through it and uh, do some drawing and talk about it on my whiteboard here. So let's just do number 10. By the skin of your teeth. Okay, by the skin of your teeth. This one means uh, just barely. So I got out by the skin of my teeth. So um, maybe the situation could be you are in a school and uh, you, or you're going to school and uh, you don't want to be late for class. Your school class starts at 8 a.m., but you miss the bus, you woke up late, you didn't have your lunch packed, you didn't have anything ready for school. So you run, this happened to me all the time when I was a kid, you run out of the door and you just run to school and you try to make it on time. And usually if you get into class right at 8 a.m. or right when the um, the morning announcements or the national anthem is about to start, you run to your desk and the teacher will say, oh, you made it in just by the skin of your teeth. So this one, I actually don't really know the origin of that. So I'm just going to look for it real quick. Um, obviously, it has to do with teeth and skin. Um, so here we go on the uh, website Grammarist, 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 okay. By the skin of one's teeth is an idiom, right? It has origins thousands of years ago. Okay, um, means just barely, just in time. So you made it in by the skin of your teeth. If you're trying to apply for something, even applying for college, or something that has a deadline, maybe your assignment has a deadline, you can hand it in by the skin of your teeth. So I remember um, handing in assignments in school and maybe the professor would be sitting there uh, marking some things and I would hand it in like just at the last moment and they would say, oh, okay, handing it in just by the skin of your teeth. So it's very common. It's found in the book of Job in the Old Testament in the Bible. He goes, he undergoes an abundance of suffering. Yes, uh, due to a challenge that Satan has made to God. My bone cleaveth to my skin and to my flesh, and I am escaped with the skin of my teeth. Okay. The skin referred to is the enamel, uh, though this is only a guess. Okay, so basically, this is a, is a, is a biblical origin. Uh, in this story, Job undergoes suffering due to a challenge that Satan has made to God. Satan tries to break Job's righteousness. So uh, Satan tries to make Job, you know, uh, suffer a lot so that he can break he can break and he can do something bad. Um, I don't know. Do something bad. Break his righteousness. So he's a really good guy. Really righteous. Really pious. Really loves God. And Satan is trying to break that. So he's going through a lot of suffering. Um, and then he talks about. I escaped with the skin of my teeth. So basically means like he was being hurt a lot. And if you picture it, you could think about how uh, he just escaped, just the only thing he had left. It's like he lost all his clothes, all his belongings. Maybe he even got wounded. The only thing he escaped with was like the skin of his teeth. So I escaped with the skin of my teeth. And that, when I think about that, it seems like, oh, wow, he basically had nothing. So he barely escape. Like if you only have the skin of your teeth left, uh, it's important because it holds your teeth in. Maybe he's talking about the gums um, or maybe he's talking about the, uh, the actual coating on the teeth. But it's quite interesting. 
Um, I think the origin is not too important. I don't really need to draw anything here. So that's just an idiom you can use when something happens. You barely hand something in, make it on time, escape some situation. Maybe I was in a car crash and uh, I escaped with my life just by the skin of my teeth. So I barely made it out alive. So that's one idiom. And I might do one more because this is fun. So let's choose number two. Oh, no points. Okay, I hate that. I hate that alligator. Number one, it's not rocket science. I don't need to draw anything here either because rocket science is hard. So if I say it's not rocket science, that means it's not hard. It's really easy. We usually say this uh, to maybe make fun of someone. So maybe I'm with friends and they're trying to calculate the bill or the tip uh, because we tip a lot in Canada. And uh, maybe they're taking a really long time. And we could say, hey, you know, it's not rocket science. This, this is not hard. So that just means it's not hard. You can kind of use it to make fun of someone. Um, it's a fun idiom to use, and it's very common. So I think I'm going to stop there and do some more next time.